You guys, I did a thing and I'm very proud of it. <gasps> Look at the bookshelf. So pretty. I'd like to point out that the rest of my room is a complete disaster because of this. But it sure is pretty to look at. I better be in focus, I swear. What's up guys? My name is Sarah, if you did not know that already, and I am one half of Book Monsters Loving here on YouTube. Maybe some of you watching this video don't care about my bookshelf, but maybe some of you do. And I would like to just take a moment to be excited with you. This is a random, spontaneous decision that I made. If you guys have seen some of my last couple of videos within the last couple of weeks, you'll remember my bookshelf looking like this. So recently I was at VidCon and then I went on vacation with Sav. I left my house with two books and came back with six. That's ten. I came home with six. I don't know how this happens, but it always does happen. I was running out of room to put my favorite books and it was going to be a problem. I'm explaining this too much. I'm just going to go into the books now. All right, let's go over here. So I'm going to move this candle that is probably potentially a fire hazard. This over here is my red section. This shelf is the longest, the prettiest, the most open and it fits the most amount of color gradient so I just started here. I have first of all this lovely paper star that makes it very difficult to pull out books from this side but it looks really aesthetically pleasing so I'm leaving it there. First I have the first two books of the Twilight series because my Eclipse book, I lost the book cover so it's just black and silver and then Breaking Dawn is just black and white so I put those down there. But these have red on them so I have Twilight and New Moon. Then I have the fifth book in the Left Behind series, which is Apollyon. And then I have The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, which is the third book in the Heroes of Olympus series. And over here I have Ruby Red, which I just got, and I'm actually really loving this cover of it. I've never seen this one before. I just put this on top because I'm currently reading it right now, and normally I don't keep books that I'm currently reading on my shelf. But I didn't want to leave this beauty out of my bookshelf tour because I'm really, really loving it. And then I have this book that I just got, Martin Martin by Brian Doyle. I have not started it yet, but I met him at an author event and he signed this book for me, which is fun. Then I have Peter and the Shadow Thieves, which I believe is the second. Yeah, Peter and the Star Catchers comes first and then Peter and the Shadow Thieves by Barry Pearson. Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. Foom? I don't know. I actually saw the movie and I got the whole series because I loved the movie and I could never get into the book but maybe I'll try again someday and actually like it. The second Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling, The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series, The Elite by Kiera Cass which is the only selection book I own. I have yet to read the selection. I think this is the second one. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Paper Towns by John Green. Those are all the like mostly solid reds. Now we're starting to blend into orange. So I've got Allegiant by Veronica Roth. The Remnant by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins, which is, I don't know which book it is in the Left Behind series. Only the paperbacks have what number they are. Now we're really starting to get into orange. So I have Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. The Martian by Andy Weir. You guys know how much I love this book. Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. The first book in the Left Behind series, which let me point out, these books, oh jeez, these books were hand-me-downs from my siblings and my family, but we're missing a bunch of the books, so I went out and got the first one so I could start reading them. Can I just mention that they're completely different cover styles, and I don't know if I can still get this cover style, but all the rest of them were like this. I don't know how it works. This one. Ah! What am I at now? Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Now we're starting to fade into yellow. Now I have Glorious Appearing by Tim LaHaye and Jeremy Jenkins, which is the last book in the Left Behind series. Then I have The Mark. I have no idea what number that is. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. The Year the Swallows Came Early by Sir Catherine Fitzmaurice. Yup. This one is signed. This one was pretty. Air by Ryan Gaddis. Air by Ryan Gaddis. This star won't go out by Esther Earl. If you guys don't know who Esther Earl is, she was, I think she was even like a small YouTuber. I think she might have even made like YouTube videos, but she was a friend of John Green's. 
and she inspired The Fault in Our Stars and this is kind of like her memoir sort of. Um, and the introduction, uh, introduction was written by John Green and it's just like her story. Now I have The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams which is I believe all of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books compiled into one and these are the Barnes & Noble like classic editions with the sparkly hard covers and the cool pages and the bookmarks in them and I love this. Whoosh! Isn't he cute? Oh, I was out of frame. Darn it. Okay. Now I have Wicked by Gregory Maguire. The Indwelling in Soul Harvest by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins in the Left Behind series. Then this one I also got on my vacation. The Body in the Woods is one of Sav's favorite books. I think one of her favorite authors. On this channel, I read a lot of sci-fi and fantasy. And Savannah reads a lot of crime, mystery, horror and contemporary so we cover a wide spectrum but she recommended this to me we actually met the author April Henry and she signed this book and they ended up buying the second one and she signed that one too so hopefully they're good and I end up liking them but the author was really nice all right now I have I Love the Happily After I can't talk today I Love the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins which is very good I have read all the Stephanie Perkins books I have Matched by Ali Condi, the sixth Harry Potter book, The Half-Blood Prince, and then the third Harry Potter book, The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Lost Hero, and Peter and the Star Catchers, the first one, uh, the prequel to Peter and the Shadow Thieves. And yeah, let's move the camera now. This is my blue shelf. I have the Penderwicks, which is like a really weird cross between blue and green. What do you do with this? But this is the Penderwicks on Garden Street, the sequel to just the Penderwicks. By Jean... Birdsall, I think. There's gardeners outside! Alright. <laughs> the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. The first book in the Percy Jackson series. Sherlock Holmes, The Hounds of Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Trouble Twisters by Nix Williams. Four by Veronica Roth. Ink Spell, second book in the Ink Death trilogy. Ink Spell, Ink Heart trilogy, sorry. I can't speak. Armageddon, I have two copies of Armageddon. Not entirely sure why, they were both handy downs. This is book 11 in the Left Behind series. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, which is like a really fun book to have, but it's a lot sadder than Disney makes it. The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, the third book in the Percy Jackson series. The fifth book in the Harry Potter, The Order of the Phoenix. Shatter Me and Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. I still have yet to read Ignite Me, Destroy Me, and Unite Me. But I have makeup tutorials on these coming soon. I already did one on Shatter Me, so if you'd like to watch that, click the link down below. The Son of Neptune. I have two copies of The Son of Neptune as well. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Soul Surfer by Bethany Hamilton. Let It Snow by Maureen Johnson, John Green, and Lauren Miracle. Passenger by Alexander Bracken. And then we get into this weird, like, these are all kind of muted blues. And then you just have Wonder, which is like in your face blue. But I just stuck it on the end here. Alright, now we get to one of my favorite shelves and simultaneously my least favorite shelf. I love the colors, I love the purple and the pink and then the gold at the end, and then there's the leftover light blues that are too blue to go in the white section at the bottom, but not blue enough to go up there, and they also don't fit up there, so there's just this really awkward transition into purple that I don't appreciate. Okay, Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Crossed by Ali Condi, which is the second book in the matched trilogy. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. A Separate Piece by John Knowles. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I use this as the transition because it has like the random spots of blue and other colors. Ink Death, which is the last book. Off the Page, which is the sequel to Between the Lines by Samantha Van Leer and Jodi Picoult. Um, and then up here, real quick, I don't keep this up here. I usually, this is my Kindle Paper White and it's in a purple case, so I thought I would put it amongst my purple books for this video. The Blood of Olympus and House of Hades by Rick Riordan. In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. I cannot rave enough about Alex Bracken's books. And this I got at the book swap. 
at VidCon. This is my UK cover version of Divergent. Then I have two copies of Romeo and Juliet because I thought I lost this one and we accidentally bought this one. So I used that instead of returning it and then I found my other one and now I have two copies. I actually also have copies of Macbeth and A Midsummer Night's Dream that I read for school this year. I have no idea where they are. Anyway. And then The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Savannah's favorite book ever. Fun fact. If you go watch pretty much any of her videos, I'm sure she'll mention it at least once, which is me with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and The Dark Minds. So that works. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I kind of tried to fade into from pink into peach and then into like the Bronze Pen by, I don't know how to say this author's name, it's a very complicated name, but Zilpha Keatley Snyder. And then How to Train Your Dragon. The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan, the second book in the Percy Jackson series, the first one. And then these two are books I got at summer camp at my church when I was little. I think it was at VBS. They're really fun. They're really well illustrated and very deep, like, children's books. This is The Giant Leaf and the firefish and the illustrations are beautiful. This is the Percy Jackson Greek Gods. I got this as a birthday present from the lovely Katie J on YouTube. If I'm out of these shots, I apologize. It's very hard to show the books and be in the shot at the same time. Okay, here we go. The black shelf. So we fade from tan up there into, I'm gonna move this, but isn't this cool? I have first The City of Ember by Jean de Prow. And then I have Graceling by Kristen Cashor. The fourth Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This, which is interesting, this is the writer's journey that was a present. It's um, about screenplays, but this was when, I'm still really into writing novels, but this was when I was really, really into writing novels in about middle school. I wrote about 50 pages of a novel and then I decided I didn't like it and so I trashed it, which I might go revive that someday, but um, my friend's mom gave me this and it's basically just writing tips. It's, like I said, mostly for screenplays, but there's a lot about like the hero's journey and like the stages of the hero's journey. Then I have my lovely Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. Blood Will Tell by April Henry. This is the sequel to uh, The Body in the Woods that I was talking about earlier. Then I have this like compilation of all the Lord of the Rings books, which I'm in very intimidated to read. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Up here, this little mini binder of just like a ton of random paper. I write notes in here for videos that I want to take note of or whatever, but then I also have my book wish list in here. The Giver by Lois Lowry. The Last Olympian, the last book in the Percy Jackson series. And the Spectacular Now by, who are you by? Tim Tharp. Oh darn it, I messed this up. Abort, abort, this is a bad decision. There, okay. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I remembered his name. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Eclipse and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. And then down here. So now we're fading from the blacks into gray, into silver, into white and mixed variations of white. So I have The Amazing Book is Not on Fire by Dan and Phil. Next I have The Hundred by Cass Morgan. Incarceran by Katherine Fisher. Never Fade by Alexander Bracken. I almost said By the Darkest Minds. Divergent by Veronica Roth. The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. The Hundred Day 21 by Cass Morgan. Never Cry Wolf by Farley Moat. Fun story, we were told to pick outside reading books in my English class freshman year, and I picked this one, and then I lost it. So then I read Alex and Me on my Kindle, and I did my report on that, and then once the report was finished, I found this under my couch. So now I have this book. I never read it. The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove, which is really interesting. It's um, historical fiction, Mysteries by Nick Society, and The Prisoner's Dilemma by Trenton Lee Stewart. A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. The Penderwicks by Jean Birdsall. Quickly, my camera's overheating. Between the Lines by Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer, which I was talking about earlier. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Ben by Tyler Oakley. Use an AMV by Joe Sugg. The second book in the Mysterious Bennick Society. Over here I just kind of have some filler stuff. So I have like this random notebook. This Inside Out Driven by Emotions book that I tried 
to fit in several different color schemes. Another little notebook, another little notebook, and then my pamphlets over here pamphlets or samplers. I got this which is an abundance of John Green. My signed but the signature's rubbing off for sampler by Veronica Roth. My passenger sampler that Katie J and our friend Tasha got me from Comic Con that is also signed. And my free Library of Souls sampler that I got at Barnes and Noble. Thank you guys so 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 much for watching. I really hope you liked it. Um, I'm also making another video which is going to be the pros and cons of the rainbow bookshelf because now I've had my bookshelf organized by series, a little bit by genre, and now by rainbow and I do have some opinions and so if you're looking at your options, deciding how you want to organize your bookshelf next, stay tuned for that video. It's coming very very soon, I'm honestly going to probably film it later today. So. Please check out our other videos down below and subscribe down below if you are not subscribed already for more bookish fun. What else should I say? I don't know, but thank you for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. I think the bookshelf tours are kind of boring. But they're also just kind of a part of booktube and I just wanted to do one. I don't know. I'm rambling now. I'll see you later. Bye!